Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Battle Brothers Fight Guide, where I describe to you how to beat various groups of enemies and Battle Brothers. Today, we're looking at uh, Southern City States, specifically for the Holy War. Now in the Holy War, it's one of the late game crises, the one added by the, um, the whatchamacallit, the uh, Blazing Deserts DLC, yep. So, you can either fight for the north or fight for the south. I chose to fight for the north in this campaign. So, this is uh, my first, this is my fourth attempt at this fight. I've done it, I've won three times before, you know, to like test out what I'm doing. I'm getting better at it. And, it's my first time overall doing the Holy War. So, uh, I'm pretty new to these whole southern, uh, southern units. But, what I've uh, learned so far, I'm going to share with you, is that uh, you need to kill the mortars first. Mortars are uh, super bad. Now, I just want to preface, this is a really hard fight. Like, I, this is comparable to one of those uh, 30, 30 plus orcs, like Sea of Tents fights, probably harder. Uh, I happen to have, like, 10 mercenaries that spawned here as part of, like, a random event. There's a So there's a sword master and some mercenaries, which makes it, like, much harder. But, right now, uh, that's what I'm going to be talking about. I'm going to be talking about strategies and how to win this fight. So, as I was alluding to before, the, the mortar here is uh the big issue so your number one priority to kill stuff is the mortar then it's the uh the gunners and then it's kind of just like the the sword lance users so uh what the mortar will do is it will take like these three these two and these two so like a you know like a circle and it will fire and then next turn when it's the mortar's turn the shell will land and give everyone in the radius a debuff called Shell Shocked, which is minus 15% like melee attack, melee melee attack, range attack, melee defense, range defense, like resolve, initiative, and stamina. It's like everything you don't want is bad. It's kind of like how um when you're insect swarmed by a goblin shaman for three turns, it's like that, but um weaker. But you can't afford to do that when you're fighting 43 enemies and you have like let's say hit these five and five of your 12 are at like minus 15 percent that's awful let's put that in perspective it's got a let's say 100 aim 15 percent of that is 15 that's five level ups of three apiece he's missing five levels of like range of melee attack there that's horrible he can't afford that so you got to kill the mortars first so uh what i'm gonna suggest is you uh you spawn here. This is what I do for I have for a comp. I brought the bannerman because this is kind of a morale fight, honestly. It is a uh, a lot of their guys will flee with 40 dudes. You will start seeing them fleeing, and then they'll kind of come back. Some of them will recover and come back, and then they'll flee again. And then on your end, uh, you can't afford to be having dudes break. If someone breaks, whether just through you know getting hit a lot or people walking up next to them, it's really bad. You just can't be letting that happen. So I brought the banner. I have uh, my three mammoths. I think three three is definitely good. Two is really pushing it. There's a lot of enemies here that you got to wade through. Uh, I think three archers is a really good. I, you could maybe go four and sacrifice a front line. Um, I don't think hybrids are good for this fight, honestly, because hybrids, the way that uh, the fire lances work and the handguns work is they'll shoot behind your front line. So the dudes who have really the hybrids who have like really bad um range attack or melee attack one or the other they're gonna get hit by something and they're gonna die and their armor isn't as good and their hp is low so they're just gonna die they're gonna get destroyed by a ton of enemies so i think uh you just want to stick with frontline here who have the heavy armor and the high hp and the good melee defense all right so we're gonna start off by shooting the uh engineers that's a good hit we're gonna pass that was a lot of monologue in the front, but uh, definitely worth doing. You can't... This is a, a serious fight. So uh, fucking this up is not going to be good for you. Alright. Alright. Engineer's almost dead. It's not quite enough. That's fine. Alright. So, uh, I have a Swordmaster here. That's an issue. Luckily, there's a Mammoth right on there. Okay. So. Now. So, I have a couple of guys, I have four dudes going, and then the mortar goes. Now, the mortar will aim where your guys are, obviously. 
and the archers have higher initiative than the mortar and these dudes uh they do right now but once they go up and take some swings their stamina and their initiative will go up and down respectively so that the mortar will end up going first so what you want to do now is you actually want to pass your turn on your front line so the mortar aims i knew it was going to aim right there so the archers so next turn when the mortar when the mortar goes next turn uh these sh will get everyone here will get shell shocked but the archers move um they go before anyway so they'll just get out of the way but if these dudes um so but it, like let's say these guys moved in then the, it would like aim here you know what i mean so then they'd be stuck in melee and they get shell shocked but now they'll move forward these guys will move and no one's here so you don't have to worry all right what i'm going to do now is i'm going to send this uh mammoth out i th think the wise thing to do i think i'm just gonna send him out right here so this is kind of you know how when you do black um, you know you know how when you do black monolith yeah <laughs> if you ever heard anything about black monolith what you do sometimes is you you send a guy a, a mammoth up to the top of the fight and he'll just aggro half the enemies so you're kind of trying to do something similar here where you send these guys out so maybe the pole arms and the hand guns will just shoot him and he has the uh i think this is a great armor attachment it's the uh, additional fur padding where you take only 66 percent of any damage that ignores armor so a lot of the there is an a weapon or armor attachment that reduces damage from fire and hand guns, which is like tailor made for this fight but um that's so that's so niche and i'm not carrying around extra armor for when i fight southern city states so i think using this as this really fantastic armor uh bone plating wouldn't work but you know you'll, you'll you'll know what you're doing but point is you want to send these guys here so he can just aggro like everything all right so i'm gonna want to uh i'm gonna pass here uh okay i kind of want to get in right there nice okay so these two are just gonna aggro like everything in their mother all right good okay uh i have done this fight i've lost a few people doing this fight I, ha I didn't lose anyone last time i did it though uh which was which is great all right we're gonna this guy isn't a threat because he's a if you're locked on the mammoth um you're not a threat because you're not gonna kill the mammoth so you're nobody nothing is like look at this these guys all these pole arms are probably just gonna get locked on the mammoth and not do anything means i don't have to worry about them next time all right now taunt the sword master good nice um i don't think i want to move up i don't think i get anything from moving up miss not surprising uh i don't want to i'm gonna move up right here if i'm let's say I, I could move up to like here but then this pole arm could walk forward and hit this guy could walk up and hit which means i have to start using this like if these dudes walk here this mammoth's gonna have to start doing something to start taunting and this guy will have to start taunting and what it means is they're not they're either not getting enough stam or they're spending too much stam um shield walling and taunting that was a good hit got the bleed on the nimble guy so he'll just bleed out it's fantastic all right so as we said previously you want to get out of the shell shock range all right and now the mortar is worthless and we killed the engineer that's great all right i'm gonna hold my turn for when the other engineer shows back up because that's who i need to kill right now i would like to kill the hand gone i would like to kill those sword lance but I need to make sure there's no more mortar fire. Because once these guys get locked in melee, these frontliners, they're just going to get shell shocked because they can't run away. I can't like I can't expect dudes to just start running. You know what I mean? Take opportunity attacks. Can't do that. All right. Good. All right. We got a lot of dudes locked on this mammoth right here. 
you have to have confidence in your mammoths to take these fights. This is my um, my fourth late game crisis. Which means I'm on like day 370, I think. So, yeah, my party's good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take this fight if it was my first crisis. Are you kidding me? This is horrible. It probably wouldn't be 40 guys, but nevertheless, this is this is a fight. You need the high-level mammoths. You need guys you can rely on to just stand there and, like, not die. And I don't know if you can get that all the time. All right. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to back up, so maybe these guys will, uh... That's bad. That is, uh, that's not good. All right. All right, so, um... Let's see what we need to do. We need to kill that guy. Ah, oh, the sword master. Come on. Good. I right, get out. Okay. We get right on the handgun. The handgun now can't fire because he has his uh is um in he's in melee. All right. Good stun. Stun's not great. He's going to be shell-shocked, but I can get everybody else out of there in time. Alright, so what I want to do is probably... I want to make sure that he can't do anything. I'm going to shield wall. Uh, I can't get out of there. In the sense of... Um, I can't get both... I guess... What could I do? I could... I could walk forward to rotate and move. Get everyone out of the shell shock. That actually might be worth it. Because I can't... I just can't begin... Show, they're out of the fight. For like, you know, three turns or whatever it ends up being. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um... Damn. Alright. Uh, I guess I'll just move up one. Okay. Good. Oh, this is the perfect, perfect hit. Uh, but I, I can't take it. Alright, I'm gonna pass. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the, uh, the mortar will go off, and then I will, um, just walk back in and get that shot. Alright, night all right, what do I need to do? Fifteen turns, nineteen turns. Alright, so the bannerman does go first, that's good. So the uh the swordmaster will actually get uh shell shock, which is great for multiple reasons, because A he takes damage, B, he takes uh an initiative penalty, so he uh his dodge goes down, his M def goes down, and his M attack goes down. Alright. Ninety four, don't miss. Good, 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 good. Engineers in the open. This means that I'm going to be out of shell shock for the rest of the fight if I can kill this engineer right now. When's this other archer go? Come on. 15 turns? Uh, 15? Really? 15? Damn. Alright. All right, he needs to get out of dodge. Oh, haha. How to dodge. Alright, I'm going to... I'm just going to... I'm going to do the same thing. Just get out of the shell shock range. Good. Shell shock. Should be it should hopefully be kill, easy to kill this sword master right now. Alright, the hand gone, um the gunner really isn't much of a threat right now. Just because he doesn't do much. And it means that this spear isn't doing anything. Because he isn't in I guess they have, maybe he has rotate, I don't know. I right, get the kill. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright. Now I have to kill the hand guns. That is my next major objective is killing hand guns. And where are they? What? <laughs> okay. I guess it's like right there, but... Actually, that guy needs to die. I can't see any handguns right now. Alright, this is the problem position. Nice. Okay. Um... I got a lot of dudes down here that need to die, so I'm gonna walk over, get ready to do that. Didn't get the kill. Could hold up this flank right here. I think I'm gonna have to do that. Probably should have kept this guy in here, but I think it's gonna be alright. 
Oh, baby, that's a fucking triple and a half. Um... 92 to kill this mercenary, which will do what for me? It won't do... Actually, I'm going to hold, because then this conscript will walk up, do something stupid, and I can smack the conscript. Alright. Uh, the shield wall. I'm going to try and taunt that guy. Just get, a, get something in there. Alright. Taunt him. I'm going to try and taunt this gunner as well. 74-70. I'm more worried about the mercenary because the mercenary has um, has overwhelm. Alright. He's dead. Alright. Try and hit that gunner. Oh, there are the handguns. Alright, there they come in. Alright, I guess you can't taunt them. That's fine. Alright, so uh, what are we going to do now? I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring my bannerman up to the middle because this is where the pole arms are, so they're gonna need to be disarmed. Yeah, get fucked. <laughs> I call I called that. All right, good. We've killed ten enemies. We've really taken minor damage because we took no mortar hits, and there will be no more mortar hits. We haven't. All right, we're gonna we're taking the brunt of the uh, the uh, the pole arms now, but we're out of handgun shots. Uh, I assume oh, I can't. I still can't hit him from there. Damn it! That was a failed. Uh, f that was a fail of a turn. Then all right. I guess I just. Oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. All right. Good. Pull our mastery is coming into place. Please stop overwhelming me. All right. Problem position is this guy because he's gonna be uh, losing his his uh, armor soon. Need to get this handgun killed? Nice. Alright. These guys are essentially out of the fight. As much as I want to walk up and kill this mercenary, I don't have to. Like, ever. Okay. So I need this guy to, uh... Oh, he went on the archer. Son of a bitch. How much stam do you have? You don't have enough. Oh, alright. Oh. Yeah, get fucking destroyed. Okay. Alright. I want to get some disarms in here. I, uh, can't... Alright, I guess I didn't do anything there. I would like to get some turns. Alright, so... What I'm saying is I don't need to kill these guys because they're just going to sit on a mammoth forever. Same thing with these dudes. The dudes I need to kill are the ones that aren't just... He can only hit the mammoth. I don't care. Like, go. You you do that, man. Same thing with these dudes. So much non-threats right now. So I need to kill the guys like these guys that are actually hitting people that will end up dying. So you need to get in, uh, you need to get in here. I think that's fine. I was going for a morale break there, but I, I didn't seem to get one. Alright. Um, that's a great two hits. Taunt him. Shield wall. Got the, uh, the good hit there. This shield wall one again. Got a good hit. Taunt. Great. Kill recover. And get a kill right there. Awesome. Alright, we're seeing the beginning of what I was talking about of the morale. Honestly, we're not seeing as much as I was seeing in the earlier fights. A lot of this time, you get a lot of dudes fleeing. I think at the end of this turn, we're going to see a lot more guys fleeing. Like this hand's gone, fleeing. These guys are breaking. With a couple more hits, they're going to start fleeing as well. Alright, need to kill the handguns, that's what I'm saying, look at this. Look at this, need to kill, alright, he needs to get rotated out now. Because he has no more armor. Good, that was, thank god that was a head hit. Alright, the whip's actually fine, because the whip, um, he has a bigger range. Alright, we need to kill some handguns. 
Alright, are you overwhelmed at all? No. Alright, uh, everyone's locked. That was bad. Alright, uh, you... I'm actually worried about that. If you guys could, uh... You know, hit the handguns, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. Oh, it's the mortar's turn. Not that it matters. Okay. Good, that guy's gonna run. That'll be great. Alright, this is another position. This is a big armor tanking fight. I don't know what he's doing. Alright. Uh, what do I want to do? I want... <laughs> uh... I guess just walk out of the way. Gunners are problems. And we're gonna hold on you. Don't care. Waste all your stam, bro. Alright, that was a bad turn for the archers. But he's in a bad position because he's stuck hitting people there. Alright, uh... That's not good. Need to rotate so you can do something. Alright, you need to just recover as well. This is a recover turn. Good, he didn't come back. Need that guy to... Oh, I needed the fucking axe to do something. Go for a morale break. Didn't get it. Alright, he needs to go out at the end of this turn right now. I'm hoping that by bringing this guy in, I can get the kill on the officer, which allows the duelist to run away. I don't think he's gonna die. I say that. I say that. He might die. He honestly might. That's it. Good. The, uh, the officer broke the... Oh, son of a bitch. Damn it. I struck down. Alright. That's too bad. That's too bad. Alright. Could restart the video right now. I'm not going to. I think this is a... Uh, I think this, I'm still playing this rather well. I probably should have walked away. I, I, probably, I guess what I should have done is I should have come over here and rotated. But I didn't think I had the stamp for that. I kind of, I honestly, I think what I thought I'd do is I thought I could take uh, one more round of, uh, of hits. But what you're seeing there is you're seeing the handguns. Um, you're seeing that the handgun is really, it's just really good at breaking armor. All right. Didn't need that miss. He needs to die. All right. Damn. That is too bad. That is too bad. Alright. I need to uh, rotate on you. Need to do a shield wall on you. It's recovering. Need to kill the handgun. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Need Now I need to start killing these pole arms. Missed again. Alright. Uh, you can now actually go somewhere useful. Awesome. I was like, where's my duelist? He's dead. <laughs> I don't, I need to make sure that guy doesn't come back, because he'll come, he'll recover, and then run right into the archers, and that's going to be horrible. Alright. Uh, damn, this bannerman's not hitting anything. If I had a reliable disarm, that could, uh, that'd really help. I guess the duelist actually did have a disarm, but I need to get the morale break on the officer there. Son of a bitch. Alright. Holy moly, dude. Alright. Please do something useful. Alright, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do this. And I'm going to pass my turn. So then his initiative gets debuffed for next round, which means... The Indomitable will actually last for longer. That was a good... That was a good round. Alright. Um... I need... need you to die. Like, now. Everyone here... Hmm... I'm gonna I'm gonna wait to see if I can um, 
Oh, he's steady, really? I didn't do shit. All right. Wait to see what he does. Good, he's dead. All right, they're running. The seem there's 20 dudes left. A lot of them are gonna come back. All right, he's at least out for one turn now. That's good. Part of me just wants them to run away, but I don't. I don't. I uh, can't really be doing that. All right. Um. I guess I get a kill here. Okay, he needs to get out because he's gonna die, especially with minus melee defense. Good. Could you not? Good. No sword lance. Okay, he's got quick hands. <laughs> he's got quick hands. Of course, he has quick hands. He's not gonna die opportunity attacks because I just gave him two attacks, so I just need to uh. Do something else there. Alright, let him do that. Need to kill this sword lance. Probably should... Oh, I absolutely should have taunted there. That's a mistake. I need you to kill this guy. Please. Alright. He... I don't think he's actually going to die. Uh... That was a decent hit. Nice. More morale breaks. That's fine. He recovered. He bled out. Good. 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 Amazing. Oh, he's back. Shit. Alright, get on. Yep. I, 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 again, I called it. What did I say? I'm like, he's gonna come back. All right. Hey, he's back too. Good for you. Okay. Problem. Real fucking problem right here. Oh, piss off. All right. Yeah, get bled. Same thing. We're passing. I just can't. I can't afford to have this guy die right now. I just can't. Alright, um, who needs to go next? Probably your ass. Probably should have stunned the conscript, but he's, uh... Oh yeah, get fucked. Okay, that's cool, I guess. I know he recovers, so I'm gonna taunt him. You're gonna recover. You're gonna taunt. Seven to ten, might as well do that. You should bleed out. Awesome. Kill, recover. Good, broke him. They're coming back. All right. Oh man, it's too bad we lost the uh, the duelist there. It does show this isn't a fight you can fuck with, though. Alright. <laughs> They're coming back! I told you, this is the morale fight. Alright, now you're done. I'm not even I'm not gonna do anything with you. Alright, uh, recover on you. you make sure you're not dying. Please, please break. Alright, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna walk, I'm trying and walk away. Nice. I'm gonna see if that means if they're just gonna run. Yeah, you're just gonna get, you're gonna die. Alright, uh... I'm, I'm seeing, cause I just wanna see if they're, if they're gonna run. And that'll uh, that'll be really uh, helpful to me. Nope, they're still fighting. Okay, never mind. 
why are these guys not done? Oh, come on, really? I think they're done now, right? No? I guess we'll see. Alright, you're done. Are they running? Yeah, they are. Alright. I'm not in a position where I want... I uh, Mostly for the sake of this video, I don't feel like chasing them all down. But that was uh, that was the fight. Yeah, just get, just get out of here. Alright. Alright, so what did we see that worked really well there? Alright, I, I, fuck that guy. Oh, god damn it. Really? Uh, come on, come on, shield bash. Good. Alright, get out of here. So, what did we see that worked really well? We saw that killing the uh, the mortars first, like, really saved us. And then we saw that throwing the mammoths in uh, did really well. What do we got? Missing nose. Okay. Awesome. So, yeah, we saw that uh, throwing the mammoths in really helped because it, it mitigate it lowered the amount of enemies that were actually dealing damage to a very small amount. It was 43 initially, 41 if you don't count the mortars, like the, the literal mortars, not the engineers. So, uh, reducing that, probably the top mammoth had maybe like five or six on them. The bottom mammoth had, I think... He had like three, but he had one of the officers, and the middle mammoth had a lot on him as well. So that's probably like 10, 12, 15 enemies that weren't doing anything, which is great. We saw the good work of the archers. The archers prioritized their targets really well. We saw good use of things like, we saw disarm work really well. We saw stuns work really well. We saw big damage kill. <laughs> big, big damage always does well. Uh, it's a lot of utility in this fight. Now, armor attachments, I think uh, the... If you have access to just, if you have no armor attachments and you want to just kill serpents and get like the handgun fire explosive damage uh, buff, cool, do that. Um, you could use handguns in this fight. If you use like an overwhelm handgun build, that would probably work uh, really, really well. I don't have, I don't have any of those right now because you know I'm just fighting these guys for the first time. But I think that would be great. But uh, I think you know just go with your front line, get your archers, and use those tanks. Hope you found this useful. I'll see you guys around.